<sighs> well, lubba, wubba, lubba, dub, dub, motherfuckers. It is I, everyone's favorite jack of all trades with a foul mouth, Commander Irvin. And thank you again for joining in with me for another exciting and educational episode with yours truly, the Commodore. Who knows, you might learn something, I don't fucking know. Anyway, before I begin, I just want to give a big shout out to all of my subscribers, both the new subscribers for joining, thank you so fucking much for that shit, and to all of the OGs of the channel, thank you for sticking around and watching the crazy shit that I do. And I hope you guys enjoy what I do because I try to create content that's fucking educational but entertaining. So, there you have it. Anyway, you can see behind me, or here in front of me, I have an assortment of Titanic-related items. And of course, you see my beautifully built, incredible detailed model, 1-400 scale. This one is by Academy. She is, you know, the premium edition with the LED. Beautiful, beautiful. And of course, there's the other nameplate. The name plaque in the background, which is a, a tin metal sign I got. A VHS copy of James Cameron's epic ass movie. Fucking great movie. And a, a replica ship's bell. But anyway, before I do begin, um, uh, a quick a quick shout out to my good friend Jerry Borget. Um, he actually I, I he actually really liked my drawing that I did of the SS United States, my two page one. And he said it was really fucking amazing. Well, Jerry, I've got a drawing I'm working on for you, and you're absolutely gonna fucking love it, man, when it's done. She's not done yet, but you're gonna love her when it's done. You're gonna fucking flip head over backwards. So, anyway. The reason why I have this little collection of Titanic stuff is because I got a book. I bought a brand new book. Well, it's not brand new. Brand new to me, but I bought it from my favorite haunt, uh, Half Price Books. Anyway, here lately, you know, Half Price, you know, my local Half Price bookstore has been getting better selection in because, you know, you know, the, the bullshit with the fucking COVID shit is going away and, and they're starting to get more and more stuff in and I went in there you know, looking for books and of course they had several other books on the Titanic but you know what since me being the Commodore me and the OG ocean liner guru I already fucking had these books but the book I found this was one I actually was contemplating on buying a long time ago but I didn't but I finally got it and I'm talking about Titanic Tragedy, a new look at the Lost Liner by my favorite author, the late John Maxtone Graham. Now, when I saw this, I was really, I was really excited. You can probably tell it's got like a slick surface on it because this wasn't, this was a library book. Yes, this was a library book. I usually don't like buying books that were library books, but this one was in great fucking shape. Of course, on the front cover, you know, it says Titanic Tragedy, a new look at the Lost Liner. It's got this, if I could fucking show you guys, it's kind of hard to see it, but this amazing fucking painting of the ship as she's sinking with the lifeboats pulling away. And on the back side, it's got advanced praise for the book from Jan Morse, Justin Scott, and of course the late Clyde Cussler. And there's some information about the book. And this is one of the reasons why they tore the end paper out of it. And they put a big stamp that says withdrawn. This is the only thing that's wrong with this book is this. And they ripped it. Because what the picture is supposed to be is a picture of the Titanic and the Olympic. Because Titanic is right there. Olympic is right there. But there was something else that I found in this book too, right here. 
This book came from a uh, Rolling Meadows library. I don't fucking know where that's at. Well, Rolling Meadows. But see, he's got these due date cards. His card is valuable. Please return. And, you know, most people probably would have just fucking thrown this card away. But I'm, I won't keep it just because it came with the book. So I figured, yeah, I'll keep it. It's fine. You know, when I, when I opened it up, it did have call number written here you know the call number which it's still kind of their 910.9163 max which i erased it because since this is my book you know this was the book see dedicated to the memory of walter lord this book was published 2011 you know it's for the the 2012 um Right here, here, here's what the picture was here in the end papers. A rare photograph showing Olympic and Titanic at Harlan and Wolf. The date is 6 of March of 1912. Titanic had been in the Thompson graving dock, but an inbound Olympic with a prepared need repaired necessitated the second vessel's displacement. As a result, both vessels are parked alongside their fitting out jetties. Titanic on the left, Olympic on the right. What looks like smoke emerging from Titanic's fourth dummy funnel is actually steam. The giant floating crane, Hercules, can be seen just to the right of Olympic's fourth funnel. Tom McCluskey, private collection. So, anyway, this is the contents of the book. This was the book that John Maxtone Graham wrote for um, the um, 100th anniversary of the Titanic. And, and I've read this book years ago, and I've always wanted the copy of it because, one, it's about the Titanic, and two, for my favorite author. So, I fucking finally got it. So there you go, guys. This is the new book I picked up, and I paid $3 for this. So for $3, I mean, you know, this being missing and that shit being on there, other than that, I mean, it's relative, it's, it's brand, it's fucking, like, brand new. So I'm not gonna fucking fret about it. So there you go, guys. That's this why right here. New book, Titanic Tragedy. It's a fucking awesome book. I will read it, and I will give you guys a full review on it. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the fucking video and maybe learned something. If you have any questions or comments about anything, leave them in the fucking comment section below, and I'll get back with you. And as always, if you're new to the channel and you like what I'm doing, hit that fucking subscribe button, hit that damn notification bell, and become a member of the Commoners crew, and never miss another video. This is Commodore Urban, saying have smooth seas and clear skies. Happy sailing with all of you. God bless all of you. Stay healthy, stay awesome, and um, be yourself. And take until next time. I'll see you around.